Hello everybody and welcome back to the Moldy Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Moldy Worm4975 and today we have one more car to check out in the Cayo Perico heist which is this which is in front of us and that is the Brioso 300. So that's what we're going to be doing in today's video. <laughs> So today is March the 4th in GTA Online and today we got the Brioso 300 officially added to the game. Now I say officially because those of you who were playing around Christmas time will know that you could get this as a free gift. So I actually purchased one of these as a free gift around Christmas. So uh, many of you may have seen this vehicle, you may have already customized the vehicle and you may already know the performance of it but today it has been added to the game officially for just over four hundred thousand dollars so not too expensive and it is a pretty cool vehicle so i wanted to check it out with all of you so let's just first go ahead and look at the actual price of the vehicle on the southern san andreas super autos website and you can see that it's just over four and a half thousand uh, four four hundred and fifty thousand dollars so the brioso 300 is based off an a classic fiat 500 for those of you who couldn't already tell and it has quite a few fiat 500-esque upgrades to it so let's head to the custom shop and see what we can do with it all right so here we are in the workshop now before we get into the actual customization i just wanted to say a huge thank you for helping us get to 800 subscribers you guys are absolutely fantastic and i really do appreciate it so to say thank you i am doing a merch giveaway over on twitter which is lasting till march the 8th i'll be picking the winner on monday so if you haven't entered that yet then you've got a couple of days to do so you can win yourself a free iphone or samsung case and if you don't have an iPhone or Samsung, then you can always pick something different. So make sure you go and enter that. And I am also doing a week-long upload period as well, because I really want to show you guys that I am thankful for this, because it is a massive milestone for the channel. So thank you very much. But let's get into the actual customization. We'll go ahead and slap on full armor then body upgrades we can go for none we can go for the remove reflectors which just removes them little sort of indicators on the side of the vehicle we can remove the reflectors and trim so it's going to remove that little stripe on the side and also the one on the bonnet and then we can go for the remove all which is going to remove that little chrome strip at the bottom as well so i actually like all of this on the vehicle so i'm gonna leave that on there um but it's quite nice that you can remove that if you want to we've got some race brakes on there we'll go ahead and put them on then front bumper options so we got this classic fiat 500 looking front bumper it looks very nice very clean nothing too fancy we can go for the remove bumper look which was also a thing that fiat 500s had so nice addition there we can go for a basic front bumper again very clean very nice we can go for the classic bumper we got the retro bumper the rally de polito one the rally lights so that looks very nice i like that and then we've got the rally de polito two so i'm going to go for the rally lights i'm going to go for a sort of race car build with this because i think it suits it quite well and then on the rear bumper we got the stock we can go for the removed we've got the basic we've got the classic and we've got the retro i'm just going to go for the basic i think that matches the vehicle quite nice and the kind of build we're going for then on engine options now the engine block we do have some different options in here so we can go for the stock um little engine in the boot or we can go for the six cylinder upgrade since we're going for a race car build, I guess we'll go for that. Looks really, really nice. We've got the cam belt turning in there. Beautiful. And then we'll go ahead and slap on full engine tunes. 
exhaust options so we've got this tiny little exhaust there on the right hand side of the vehicle we can go for twin little exhausts we can go for a chrome exhaust just on the right or we can go for twin chrome exhausts then we can get the rally exhaust which is just there on the left and then we've got the blast pipes. I'm going to go for the rally exhaust. I like that. Looks very nice. Then fender options. We've got the stock fenders. We can go for plastic arches. Or we can go for carbon arches. I'm going to go for the carbon arches. Because I think they look pretty good. Especially with kind of like a rally build. And then on the hood options. This is actually going to affect basically the trunk lid. Because it's a rear engine vehicle. So we've got the stock hood, we can go for a hood rack, we can go for a hood luggage, we can go for the popped hood, or we can go for the full racing hood, which actually just removes the hood and replaces it with this kind of spoiler, uh, which I'm not a huge fan of, I like just the stock, so I'm going to leave that there, we're not going to bother with horn or lights. Now we do have a couple of livery options in here, so we've got the black stripes, just two black stripes over the whole vehicle so that looks pretty nice and then we've got in white then we've got the grotty stripes which is just going to be a little stripe on each side of the door looks very nice i like that then we've got arrow gasoline we've got grotty racing we've got fukaru tires we've got pole position that one looks kind of a little bit weird We've got the Ragarum, we've got Atomic Tires, we've got Total Ride Motos, and that is your lot. So, I'm not really sure which one I like on here. I think the Atomic Tires one looks pretty nice, and we'll try and match the paint with maybe like a blue or something. Um, then we go on to plate options, I'll just set this to yellow and black, and Mouldy Worm 4975. We'll come back to the respray options at the end because I'm not really sure what colour I want yet. I'm thinking of blue though. And then roof options. We've got the stock roof which is this kind of convertible um, like soft top. So we can go for the full painted roof if you don't like that. You can go for the top down which is like the stock roof but it's actually open which looks really cool. We can go for the primary roof. Um, so I forgot to mention that this thing is actually two-tone so the whole top part of the vehicle is one color and the bottom part of the vehicle is another color which we'll see in a minute so if you go for the primary roof it will match it with the bottom part of the vehicle and then we've got the full primary roof we've got the primary with top down then we've got the carbon roof we've got the full carbon roof but the livery does still stay on there then we've got the carbon with top down then we've got a roof rack option, we've got roof rack luggage, and then we've got the full top down version, so it's like a full convertible Fiat 500, which looks a little bit weird in my opinion, not too keen on that, I'm just going to go for the full painted roof, I like that. And then sunstrip options, we've got no sunstrip, we can go for the primary sunstrip, we've got secondary sunstrip, which at the moment is the same colour, so it's not going to change or you can go for the carbon sunstrip I like the sunstrip but if you look where the player's eyes are it kind of yeah you can't really see where you're going it's not that great so I'm just gonna leave it without because you have a bit more visibility um, but it is nice to see those options if you're into that now suspension on this thing you can get a massive drop so you can make this thing a lot lot lower if you want to and since we're going for a kind of race car build I'm going to drop it all the way down then we're going to put it on some race transmission then we'll have a look at the trunk this is actually going to affect the hood options now because it is rear engined so the trunk is at the front so we've got the stock trunk the secondary trunk which won't change because I've not changed the colour and then we've got the carbon version of that and it does keep the livery on which is really nice but I'm just going to leave it without then we'll go ahead and slap on a turbo here and then we need to find some wheels that are going to match this thing I'm thinking one of these street wheels and maybe some just sort of like very simple looking tin wheels I think kind of like this and then we'll paint them maybe something like black steel just so they look 
a little bit more fitting with the vehicle and then we just need to go ahead and change the respray color of the vehicle so this is where you're going to see what will affect it so the primary color is going to be the whole bottom half as i mentioned and the secondary color is all of the yellow part so i think maybe something blue will look quite nice so let's have a little look through the blue options um maybe something like this surf blue looks very kind of classic fiat 500 -y. And then we'll just go ahead and match that, I think, on the roof. Maybe we'll actually go for a white. What does that look like? It does look a little bit weird. So I think we'll go ahead and match that. And there we go. That is our race Fiat 500 Brioso 300, sorry, um, build complete. So let's take it outside onto the street and see how it drives okay so here we are outside in our brioso 300 and it looks absolutely fabulous i love this little vehicle i'm really happy that they finally added a classic fiat 500 to the game i have been asking for one of these from rockstar for a few years now since we got the weenie issy classic i've been wanting them to add a classic fiat 500 and finally they've answered my prayers so thank you to rockstar for adding this vehicle now I just wanted to pull over under this bridge here because the rally lights that we have on the front actually do work which is a really nice feature because sometimes we don't see that. A lot of the times when you can add sort of these extra spotlights to a vehicle they don't actually work but on this vehicle they do so that's a really nice little addition as well. Now what is my overall opinion on the vehicle? Well. I did just say I've been waiting for this vehicle for a long time so it was quite highly anticipated by myself and I think the level of customization on this vehicle is absolutely super I think they've done a fabulous job with it especially with like the engine swaps and all that kind of stuff looks absolutely great it sounds fantastic as well I think they got the engine sound for this vehicle just right which is always a big thing for me as I mentioned the spotlights work which also is a really nice little thing. The only thing that lets this vehicle down a little bit for me is the performance. You can see we went and put on full transmission, turbo, engine, the whole works and this thing is still not that fast. Now I don't know how it compares to the Weenie Issy Classic. I know the Weenie Issy Classic is not the fastest vehicle either. So I think it's about on par with that vehicle and that is probably the closest comparison I can make. Now something to note, this thing is actually rear wheel drive, whereas the Weenie Issy Classic is front wheel drive. So if you've ever driven the Weenie Issy Classic then you will know it oversteers quite a lot. Whereas this thing doesn't really tend to do that, it is quite grippy. So that is something that I quite like, the performance of this thing compared to the Weenie Easy Classic is definitely much better um, but it is still not the fastest vehicle in the world but it's more of a car show vehicle it's kind of a cult car and hopefully you guys really like it as well let me know your um, opinion on the vehicle down in the comments below that is going to be my review and customization of the Brioso 300 it was the last vehicle we had to check out from the Cayo Perico heist so hopefully you have enjoyed me customizing these cars. Let me know if you want me to do customization of the other cars from new DLCs in the future. And until then, I will see you in the next video.